Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Life is Strange. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Oh my fucking god! Today, please, please. yesterday I was I can't really. Tell anybody. Don't yesterday think I was so fucking sick. Now even more. Now I still don't feel sick. I still feel like shit. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want more daily content of any video. It doesn't really matter. I can tell everybody. Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's half. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again! Yes, I saved the girl. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Yeah, I always give that excuse. Thank Shut you, Mr. the fuck Madsen. up, dude. Seriously, the situation is oh under God. control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off yeah, the alarm that since that's your job. Fucking uncle of that blue-headed girl, or whatever you are. You look Thank a little you. stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, shit. What should I do, guys? Should I report Nathan or should I hide the truth? Well, actually, I'm gonna, like, uh, report Nathan and then, you know. And then like I'm gonna I'm gonna do the whole let's play over again, and then do the uh, hide the truth or whatever. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bath. Actually, matter of fact, I'm just so going to like uh, not tell him because I've seen then, the video YouTube. Then he left. I and ran out here they didn't do shit do. about it. And then it turns out him? that this is he came talk. after me, and so I'm gonna do this shit. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for sure you are. To I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rewind your, your life. After what I told we'll you, we'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Bitch. Of course, this <laughs> academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little. 
Yeah, hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's yeah, nothing to hide. Bitch. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. You're not going to be at the school. You're not going to be at the school any longer, anyways. What's the point? They're not going to do shit, anyways. You know. You know they're not going to do shit about it. People, the same shit. A state speaks to this man. woman. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Let's talk to Warren. Damn! This dude is spamming me like shit, dude. Like, do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out whatever that fucking flash drive. Uh, I don't know what that flash drive's name is. Something like, uh, hey, Mad Max. That's a game, you know that? Uh, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for physics. A physics test, so if we bust anything we also have to measure its velocity nerd don't ignore this message hi max can you get my flash drive i need some info in space hello sorry running late insane day i'll meet you in the lot looking cool you'll see my camera will be ready see you short i hope so fucking bitch let's talk okay i better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive uh, how do you skip? How do you fucking, uh, dude? I'm like, it's fucking stuck, dude. Like, oh, that is fucking stupid. It just fucking like froze on me. I can't. I don't. Oh my god, that's just so stupid. I let. I let go. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me. Sure. Well, I'm gonna do the same shit over again because it fucking messed up. That's crazy. It's a slippery. Blackwell Academy. 
You know, science. Now, before I. All right, let's get it. Uh, let's, you know. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Justin. Check out the map. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <coughs> nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I like your gauges, dude. Uh. I don't know I'd that. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. I want, I want to see the other one. Yo, just check. I came to no slide, but I'd love to. Oh, sick. Nah. Oh, just... Go for a tree flip. <laughs> Let's get Trevor all over that. Haha, uh -huh. oh, that, that's more better. I'm gonna put this all over Facebook. Hey. I'm stoked to see those photos frames and shit. You never really escaped Betty though. Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel and Amber and her punk friends love skating with us. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Well, I hope you guys liked this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you back in the next one. Peace.